first things first, it's gonna be a little noisy. It's pretty cold today in the shop and I wanna get some things done so I'm throwing the heat on right away. But other than the noise, today we're gonna get this thing flipped upside down. I'm actually gonna mic the cam bearings Look up the factory spec to see what they are, and if they're close enough to spec, cam is going in under further inspection. This little sky right here, you barely can see that flake. That's actually the only flake in all these cam bearings. I mentioned in my other videos, it looked like they were all like that. That was just dirt. I blew air in there, and that was just dirt on those cam bearings. So this is the only one, but just is understandable because. This cam bearing is the last cam bearing to get oil because it's the furthest one away from the pump. So it gets the least amount of oil, yada, yada, yada. It's gonna travel the furthest, you understand what I'm saying. So if that's all that, that's wrong, that's fine with me because I really don't wanna have to pull a crankshaft and everything apart to do cam bearings. So I got a bike tool kit here and I gotta run home and grab my calipers because I forgot my calipers. So then I can get a reading for my bearings to see where they're at out of curiosity. Other than that, I gotta put an oil pump in, um, put the cam in. I won't be able to put the lifters in. I do have to run to the parts store to get some engine assembly loop for the cam. Uh, I got a tool to pull the bottom gear off and a tool to put the new one on, but I don't have the new one yet. I just got the oil pump, the cam, the gasket kit. All the lifters for the cam and then my tools to pull this on and off and other than that I don't think I can really do a whole lot more than that today but I should get plenty of content and give us plenty of time and we still got plenty to do to this thing so I'm gonna get to it and hopefully we can get this thing closer to getting back in the C20. All right, so I got the oil pump on, but I'm gonna torque it to 65 foot-pounds. The oil pump bolt gets torqued to 65 foot-pounds. Um, I'm gonna put that on there. Then I'm gonna measure for where I want the pickup tube in relevance to the oil pan rail, because I measured the old one to make sure I got the correct depth. Then I'm also gonna, once I get it in here, I'm also gonna tack weld it in. So it can't move or it can't come out. So I'm gonna torque that to 65 foot-pounds, measure for the pickup tube, then that'll be done. So I just got done miking the bearings. Um, everything was in spec like it should. It wasn't it wasn't even close to being out of spec actually. It was pretty damn close to being stock or what factory had. So that being said, I'm gonna get the camshaft ready and I'm gonna put the camshaft in. I gotta run and get some assembly lube real quick. But other than that, we'll get this camshaft in. Then I don't know where I'll go from there, but that might be a wrap for today. But let's get this cam in. Alrighty, I got my engine assembly lube. Um, here's the cam, it's a melling cam. 
447 intake lift, 447 exhaust lift. Um, stock duration, I believe. I don't think it's anything crazy. It might be a little more. Um, but I got this fancy tool from my buddy. It's a homemade tool. Uh, you put the cam bolts through it and attach to the cam, and then you put your, your hand on the smaller portion there, and it's weighted perfectly so you can very carefully install a cam without damaging the lobes that are bearing. So I'm going to bolt this tool up there, and we're going to slide this camshaft in, and then the cam will be home.
All right, that went really smooth. Spins like it should, no excessive play or anything like that. Not gonna be really too worried about those bearings. So other than that, the pump is in, cam is in. We're just waiting on the timing chain set and the valve springs, once that's in, we'll be able to completely wrap up this motor. I got all the gaskets for the motor. The timing cover is done. Uh, the oil pan is done. The valve covers are all done and painted. Intake is done and ready to go. So once everything comes in, and everything, I mean just two parts, really. Once those come in, we'll be able to put this thing back together, get it in a truck and get it fired up, break in that cam. So stay tuned, make sure your post notifications are on so you can see when I upload a new video. And that's gonna be a wrap for today.